Hi, I'm Jeon Kim, and I'm a PhD student from Flexible Electronics and Display Laboratory. On this presentation, I'm going to be showing you why the field I am working on is important. To start off, the title of what I'll be briefly presenting is Implementation of Brain and Retina Inspired Behaviors Using Optoelectronic Synaptic Devices with Oxide-Based Semiconductors. Firstly, the motivation. Previously, as you can see the image here, the paradigm for implementing digital computer system was conducted by the famous von Neumann architecture where um, memory unit and the CPU are se physically separated, which causes bottleneck related to huge data. For this reason, there has been intense attempts to mimic brain-inspired neural network system because of its simultaneous and highly energy efficient processing nature. Various learning activities such as short-term memory and long-term memory, etc., have been intensively mimicked by memory store and transistor usually. On this page, um, some of the basic biologic behaviors are introduced. As you can see the image here, each, uh, each end of the neuron can be defined as pre and post neuron, and the synapse is an abstract space between them. First, the potential difference between the neuron drives the neurotransmitter's movement then the chemical information is converted into electrical pulse, generating postsynaptic current. This current generation uh, could be closely mimicked by inducing bias to oxide-based transistors. Next up, a human eye is simply illustrated here. Retina is a light processing tissue lying back of the eye, turning the incident visible light into electrical signals performed by photoreceptors called cone and, and rod. Similarly, I have reported the emulation of retina-inspired behaviors using UV light um, with the oxide transistors. Here, I'm going to swiftly skim through the overall contents of the recent work using light input. For the fabrication, the oxide channel was stacked with spin coating uh, deposition techn techn technique. The channel length was 20 micrometers. Next up, the mechanism. When the device is under elimination of UV, the current drastically increases, as you can see here, um, due to the photo generated electrons from the oxygen vacancy ionization. But whereas, whereas when the, light, the power is off, the current decays slowly back to its original state because of the requirements of activation energy when they are recombined back. Um, moving on to um, applications. Pavlovian dog experiment has been successfully emulated using low power and high power of UV representing bell and food respectively. Right after, right after the training here, low power uh, representing bell only could surpass the threshold indicating the cell elevation is generated. The other application conducted by the artificial synapse using light was amnist handwritten digit recognition. Here, the pattern recognition accuracy using um, algorithm using algorithm Adam, which is 90% approximately at 60 epochs. Lastly, the significance. What stands out from other works would be rarity of light adoption for implementing synaptic functions. Additionally, the synaptic plasticity was effectively optimized by gate bias and frequency. Furthermore, I've recently found out that the addition of oxide layer could induce visible light absorption as well, as you can see here, which has a p huge potential for the future generation visible vision applications. Finally, promising application could be realized by applying all dimension features to a novel structured device. Previously, one of the conventional vision system called DVS was invented inspired by human eye um, features. A major shortcoming would be a low integration level due to its complicated circuit system. To solve this problem, MEM transistor, where selector function and memory function 
can be performed in a single device could be a great candidate if the further research is conducted using light input source. Here are all references, and I appreciate your attention. Thank you.